No, I don't want to um, end our time together without talking about your new ministry, your, <laughs> your, your gaming ministry that has just been flourishing. Uh, I'm not a gamer at all, but uh, I. I mean, the last time I played a video game was, uh, yeah, we're about the same age. So um, I was on an Atari in grade school and I played Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Frogger, and Pong. So if you had any of those games, I could play with you. But um, other than they have that, made I don't... some pretty. They've made some pretty sick versions of Pong. I'll tell <laughs> this... you what, you, you they have made some hardcore, three D, fully immersive versions of Pong. So it's 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 uh, you, you might you might have changed your world. You go get a VR set and start playing Pong. But the <laughs> yeah. So the I'll tell you what. The right now in in my life, God is doing such a weird thing that I never would have thought. Like I said, I. I God has never given me a job with a resume. So a little while back, uh, I this the church I was at, I was at for seven years, and uh, it came to sort of a, I don't want to say a natural end, but it came to an end because COVID hit. We ran out of money, a bunch of people in the church. You know, it, it just became, it just, then they went, you know what, we can't renew your contract. We just can't. And so uh, I ended up resigning they gave me a package we we move on and i didn't know what to do with myself i started praying about it asking god about it what am i going to do and long story short uh the podcast that i was that i was doing i converted from a sermon podcast into what you hear now people started listening to it actually liking it i wanted to figure out a way that i could do an interactive thing with it how do i get questions and answers and things like that so i can meet the people that are listening well that led me to live streaming on youtube well, okay, what's the better platform for live streaming? Well, it's Twitch. Twitch is designed for live streaming. Okay, cool. What is what is that? And God started to weave this tapestry in my heart that I would never have ever seen before, where I started to develop a, a love for the people on Twitch, a desire to minister to them, an understanding of how lonely and afraid and addicted and dark a lot of the lives of these people who are who are gamers and who are streamers and who are watching these gamers and streamers online because I mean you guys know if if you you all probably have a friend who is who doesn't leave their house is addicted to the internet yeah. is constantly only thinks about video games is staring at the the screen all the time and uh, their life isn't the nicest of life well imagine that but times 140 million so they the, there's this place called Twitch that is full of lost souls that have almost no Christian representation. Mm -hmm. You can count the amount of people that are serving these people uh, that are actually trained like ministers on one hand, 140 million people, five trained missionaries. There are a lot of really cool Christian people on there that are trying to give a you know po positive atmosphere. There's maybe a couple thousand, but when it comes to actual people that are choosing to be on there to minister to those who are there to bring the gospel to them, to become, to build a faith community, with them involved, it's like five, uh, at least all the ones I've ever seen. So maybe it's 10, <laughs> but there's not many. And so as God started knitting this thing to my heart and starting to give me a, 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 give me a heart for these people, I started to explore what that would look like. And so I started to see what it would be like to Twitch, see what it'd be like to live stream. Then I started looking to gaming and then I started look, figuring out what discord was. I started figuring out how can I do this? And all of a sudden out of nowhere, I've got people affirming me. Al, we heard you're doing this thing. That is really cool. This is exactly what you should be doing. Hey, Al, how can I help? Hey, here's a, here's a little bit of money to help out. Hey, can I buy you some free games? You, you should do this. Continue. Uh, this is pretty good. Wow. And uh, I'm like, holy mackerel. Are you? And I'm like, honestly, it's like, are you kidding God right now? You want me, a 43-year-old <laughs> preacher who has been on stage not playing games, only reading books for 20 years to come and be a video game minister on line. Uh, I'll try, <laughs> you know? So and cool. so, but God has been opening doors. He's been connecting me with people. He's been providing in miraculous ways. And so I'm going, you know what? If this is what God wants me to do, I'll do it with my whole heart. So I spend sometimes 15, 16 hours a day, just working on this thing. You really can spend a lot of time when you're trying to build this thing up. So I've had, I've got a bunch of followers, not very many, but uh, more than, more than I thought I would some subs, uh, wow. some games, some things, and I'm throwing everything at the wall to try to make it grow. And you, are I am, you kids gamers at all? 
Nope. No. My my I mean my son has a computer and he, he plays the occasional game, but gaming was never a big part of our, our life. We're mm-hmm. we like movies. And yeah. so gaming was never a thing. And like I never grew up as a gamer. What I what I am is I'm I'm a media consumer. And so I like watching people play video games. I liked watching people go through the let's plays and, and going all through the, the whatever levels and seeing the funny stuff and watching them play Minecraft, but I'd never got the mouse and did it myself. And so now I am on the other end of the, the, the monitor and it's, it's a challenge. The, the hard part for me really is the video game part. I can sit there and talk to anybody for as long as you want. I can do all the counseling and community building and all the technology and all the rest of that stuff. But when it comes down to it, the, the playing the video games and making that interesting, that's the most challenging part for me. Uh, it's, it's tough uh, to do that part because you're not playing video games for an hour. You're playing video games for four or five. Sometimes if you'd want to do it right, eight straight, wow. which is work believe it or not. And then you have to edit the videos and then you have to do the social media and you have to connect on discord and you have to figure out how you can counsel some of these people that are going through stuff. And you got to be reactive to the chat for eight hours and you got to be winsome and interesting. And then you got to do the sound editing and I still got to do my podcast. And you know, like it's, it is so much work, but it is self-motivating because God is in it. God is in it. I'm seeing it. Then you get a job offer somewhere and, 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 Oh, that was a wild story. Yeah. Okay, you, I, I don't know how long you want to go, but yeah, I had this really weird thing happen where I, you know, I, I finally, of course, my wife is like, could you please send resumes places? You know, I, I know that God wants you to do some stuff, but tell you what, maybe he wants you to do a part-time. How about we get healthcare and maybe some groceries? Uh, would that be okay? And so I sent resumes around and I found this really cool job. It was for a nonprofit that uh, rescues parrots, you know, like the bird, probably mm-hmm, cracker mm-hmm. parrots. They, uh, I went through the interview process. They really liked me. I went through another interview process. They really liked me. And at the end, they sat me down and they took, well, they put me on zoom and they put me on uh, the video. And she said, and she says to me, Al, we want to hire you. You are exactly what we're looking for. You have all the skills we're looking for. Your proposal was amazing. We cannot in good conscience hire you. You clearly have a passion for ministry. And it would be wrong for us to take you away from that. Wow. So as much as we want to hire you, you need to pursue what, what is on your heart. And I'm like, did a secular organization just tell me to go fo- go trust God? <laughs> did they just it. tell me to go, did Al, stop trying to be go another way and go listen to God? Okay, Ooh. I guess if God's going to start talking through Balaam's donkey, I bet I should probably yes. start listening, you know? So awesome. That was just confirmation, wasn't it? I mean, uh, well, it's certainly, I mean, it's not, I still struggle with self, with the self doubt and still, it's still such an insane thing to try to do. Uh, but every day uh, I get another piece of confirmation that God is in it, that something cool is happening. There are people on the other end that are captivated by the idea of, f- think about it. There are 140 million people that will never cross the door of your church, that will never mm-hmm. walk through the doors of any ministry you lay before them. They are not in the coffee shops. They are not at the park. You will not meet them at the library. They do not go there. Okay. You will never come across them. There's no level of invitation you can give to get them out and they do not trust you. How do you minister to those people? Right. Right. The only way is to go to where they are and where are they? They're online. Yes. And the only way they're going to talk to you is if you're doing what is interesting to them and being able to make a bridge to the gospel. That's what God called me to do. And as soon as people start picking up that that vision of these people are inviting a pastor, inviting an evangelist into their home because he's interested in watching Minecraft or playing some stupid game, and he's able to tell them about God and get them connected to a Discord where there's a bunch more Christians and they, they're loving each other and suddenly they're hearing the gospel, that's... That's a thing that can happen, and they get all excited, and they and they and they say, "Do it." Absolutely. Check out my check out my stuff. Uh, go to Xtian Ninja X T I A N N I N J A Christian Ninja on Twitch on everywhere. Literally all the all the social media. Just look me up. I'm sure there'll be a link in some of the podcast area, and uh, watch the video that you find on my YouTube page. That's what I'm asking you to do. Uh, you go to my YouTube channel, and you'll see a video there where I explain my heart what I think God has called me to do and why it's important. And if it's something that kind of tweaks your interest and, and, and you want to help contact me, 
and let's see if we can uh, see what work together to partner to see if we can serve some of these people on Twitch. Thank you for listening to the Wounds of the Faithful podcast. If this episode has been helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button and tell a friend. You can connect with us at dswministries.org, where you'll find our blog along with our Facebook, Twitter, and our YouTube channel links. Hope to see you next week.